Good morning, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> and this is Sister Susie. And today I have um, revelations the Lord shared with me this morning or last night. And uh, I am just going to go uh, right in it. And so the dream began like this. I saw, it's like my spirit was taken to this place. And I um, don't know how I got there, but I was there. And I was seeing... Um, UFO looking creatures, ETs. Um, I actually had a picture of of um, ET, but then I looked at them. I'm like, mm, I don't want to show people these kind of creatures because <laughs> they're they're really gross. I just believe they're kind of gross. And anyway, so I just have this one. But you know exactly how these e you know extraterrestrial ETs look. That's how I saw these ETs where where they were. And I don't know where where this place was, but I was seeing them there. And there were many, and they were like um, sleeping. A lot of them were kind of resting and sleeping. And as I am watching them, I mean, exactly like how ETs are. You just Google ET, and you will find out. You you know you 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 will see them. I mean, that's how the Lord showed me that they, they look like that. And um, and so I'm watching these creatures. I'm like, wow, look at these these creatures, and. In this place, as I'm observing all these creature, creatures, they're they are, they are, they are sleeping. All of a sudden, there was an announcement in that place. And I do not know who made the announcement, but somebody made an announcement and said that it was now it was now time to kill all humans. And when I heard that, my heart was startled. I'm like, oh my goodness, I better get away from here. And the big, these ET creatures, you know, began to wake up you know, because they were all asleep, they began to wake up and, you know, I had to run and I began to run and I found myself as I was running and now find myself that I was in my, um, the primary school, uh, where I went to on the ground. We used to have a huge ground and I was running on that ground, the primary school. And a lot of people were running too from these creatures because now it felt like now the humans were being hunted down. Uh, the the humans were now hunted, and and then I saw another group of uh, you know black men. They had uh, sold out to these uh, ETs, and you know because the ETs were wanting to kill all humans, so these other pe black had kind of like you know they were being recruited to kill other humans as well. So it was like now humans has to be they had to be running for their lives. Literally, you had to be running away from you know, being killed and stuff. It wasn't a pretty a pretty thing. And uh, I was reminded of the Hunger Games. You know, uh, I haven't watched this, you know, uh, video fully. But, you know, I know what it is all about. People being hunted and stuff. And I do believe that's what the Lord was pointing us to. That, you know, uh, humans will be hunted down when these ETs come to the world. Um I think that's the message he was saying that the ET is now about to show up to the world. You know, um, most of the times we only think that the threat is just right now with, you know, whatever uh, our world. No, it looks like we have a bigger, bigger threat that is coming to the earth. And this is um, the ETs about to show up and kill all humans. And they didn't say Christians. They didn't say Muslims. They said all humans. That's what they said. All humans. So... Uh, I will have a scripture for that. that you know, I'll read Revelation chapter 9. But first of all, I also heard, you know, I heard somebody. I think that one was the Lord now. He was letting me know. He said, uh, we are now in Louisiana. So I don't know what is going to happen in Louisiana, but he said, we are now in Louisiana. You know, there's a city called New Orleans in Louisiana. So maybe he's maybe he's, ref he's referring to the new city. Uh, I don't know, but he said Louisiana. So let me go ahead and read Revelation chapter 9. And this Revelation chapter 9, I will start from verse 1. And it says, The fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. And out of the smoke, locusts came down to the earth and were given power like that of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. 
They were not allowed to kill them, but only to torture them for five months. And the agony they suffered was like that of the sting of scorpions when it strikes. During those days, people would seek death, but would not find it. They would long to die, but death will elude them. But I don't know why, you know, uh, but when this, when I was there we, where these ETs are, where, I mean, they were, and they announced that now it was now time to kill humans and, and they were hunting the, the humans. So uh, over here, it says people will seek death. I mean, they will be literally running away from these creatures because these creatures will try to, to kill them and, and the people will be, um, will be, uh, will have to run for their life. And, and, uh, and it says death will be running as well. So, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of a, a scenario that's impossible to understand that people, you know, are seeking death, but death will also run from them. And then, you know, these ETs are wanting to kill them. You know, I don't know. Anyway, so verse seven, it says, the locusts look like horses prepared for battle. On their heads, they wear, they wore something like crowns of gold and their faces resembled human faces. So those are the ETs. They look like humans, but they are not human. They are like creatures. Their hair was like woman's hair and their teeth were like lion's teeth. They had breastplates like breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings was like the thundering of many horses and chariots rushing into battle. They had tails and with stingers like scorpions, and in their tails they had power to torment people for five months. They had, as ki they had as king over them the king of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek, in Greek is Apollyon, that is destroyer. The first war is past, two other wars are yet to come. And uh, so the, the Lord is revealing that, you know, these uh, creatures are about to show up, and they will open these portals, however, wherever they are, you know, like I said, I don't know how I got there, but the Lord made my spirit to go there. Uh, and I saw these ETs. They literally, when you Google ET, you know, you see that's how they are. And they are, they are coming. They are coming to kill. They're not coming in peace. Maybe they will come in peace at the first time. But no, it's all a lie. They want to kill people. You know, um, you know, the Hunger Games is about to begin. You guys maybe have watched this video of the, the movie of the Hunger Games. Uh, you understand. So, you know, other, other Lord, what the Lord showed me is that other people will, um, will be recruited by these um, ETs to hunt others. So uh, let us be prayed up. Most importantly, let us have Yeshua in our hearts uh, to be our Lord and our Savior so that when these things happen, when these things start, we should not be found here. The Lord says, pray to be accounted worthy to escape everything that is coming on the world. So uh, it is our prayer that you know, we will be accounted worthy. We pray every day we have to seek forgiveness, that Lord forgive us of our sins. And also, um, there was another term the Lord shared with me about uh, a wedding. Uh, a girl named Pat, Patricia, came and was saying that they, uh, she was getting married and, and she needed us to go. And uh, so uh, she came and got us and we were about to go. So, I mean, I think the Lord is just uh, letting us know that, you know, time is near. You know, uh, we are about to go to the wedding. When these things are happening, when the hunger gangs are happening, with that is the great tribulation, you know, the wedding of the Lord will be, you know, the marriage supper of the Lamb will also be happening. So we want to be there, you know, in the kingdom of our Father. So anyway, that's all I have today. This is Sister Susie. Be blessed. As always, let us all remain in a, in a, in a repentant state. Let us all be humble uh, before, before the Lord and, um, and He will come. I bless you all in Jesus' name and I love you. In Jesus' name, amen.